to do is research. Next to purchasing your home, purchasing a vehicle is the most money you're probably gonna spend on a large purchase. And if you have to purchase one, especially if you're in a, a very tight situation, maybe a tight money situation or time situation, you may not do the research that you need and then you're not gonna get the best deal. So always look and decide, are you going to buy new or used? How are you gonna go about that? What do you think is gonna be the best option for you? What car, like if you're buying used, is that car holding its value? Is it worth what they're selling it for? You and I know the best that they are gonna tell you they'll give you $1,000 for your car, then they're gonna turn around and sell it for 10 on the lot, right? And somebody's gonna buy it. So it's really, really important to make sure that you're getting the best value. Research the type of vehicle that you want. I'm not saying you can't get what you want. It is none of my business. If you wanna buy a Suburban, buy a Suburban. If you wanna buy an Audi, buy an Audi. You might have to drive to Nebraska to get the best deal, but it'll be worth it, right? Determine the amount of money you wanna spend on your vehicle. Very important. How much are you willing to pay every month for a car note? More importantly, how is that gonna fit in your budget? right and I always like to remind people that finance manager is not your friend just because they're getting that car note down to where it fits that does not mean is that's how much you want to pay for that car so we have got to make sure that we know how much in total we want to pay for our vehicle decide on the gadgets that you have to have you know what things are really important to you do you need um, in dash GPS whatever I was really excited because the first car that I bought after I graduated college had um, automatic windows and locks. That was huge. I was like, I don't have to roll the window down anymore. This is great. I felt like I had really moved up in the world. I'm not even joking. So decide the things that are important to you. I think that's probably standard now. Yeah. <laughs> Just like AC, right? Um, calculate your expected gas mileage. Are you gonna get a very gas efficient car? Do you have to travel really far? Um, do you not have to travel far? My husband drives like to work and back. And so he has like this ridiculous truck because you know, it, that's, he doesn't drive very far. So it doesn't matter if he gets a really great gas mileage. That's not really ridiculous. We got a very good deal and I'll tell you how later. But still he gets less gas mileage than I do. But again, it doesn't matter because he doesn't drive that far. And then ask yourself, will this vehicle meet your needs over time? Do not go buy a Miata convertible if you are pregnant. Where are you going to put the car seat? Right? I mean, you can have one, but you need something else to put the car seat in. We did this presentation with some high school kids and they had to go around and do budgeting. And by the time they got to the part where we try to tempt them with really cool things to buy, the people had, um, that were our employees that were working it convinced them to all trade in their cars, their, their sensible family cars, for motorcycles and a side car for the baby. Right? So, you know, and kids are like, yeah, that's fine. I'm like, you're gonna go to jail. No. <laughs> Right? So it's very, very important to think about your needs over time. What are you doing long term so that you can have what you need?